it started with a friend request sudeep nagarkar to my mickey and minnie kisi ko paana ya khona apne bas mein nahi hota kisi ko badal ke pyar karna pyar ke naseeb mein nahi hota sachi chahat hai agar use paane ki to himmat rakho use waise hi apnane ki prolog he was sitting all alone away from the world hoping for a new morning in his life thinking about how harshly life had treated him and brooding over what exactly had gone wrong he was busy thinking when things go wrong you feel so miserable and all you wish for is to completely erase the bad memories especially when your intention was never to do wrong or was it was her death my fault when things are not under your control you feel so helpless before your so called destiny the cold moon was peeking through the clouds floating above lavasa valley it was a perfect moment to hide yourself in the arms of your beloved here he was all by himself with no one to keep him company his fair skin was hidden behind a stubble and his depressed state was visible not only from his sore eyes but his defeated face as well as he threw away his cigarette and turned he saw a girl walking towards him she was wearing a red top and jeans he could not see her clearly as she was a bit far off and the fog had lowered the visibility he kept on staring at her to find out who she was as she came close he could see that she had left her hair loose her face was still not visible but he felt as if it was a familiar face by the way she walked and the way her hands played with her hair it was then he saw her clearly her smiling face and her sparkling beautiful eyes made his heart skip a beat she was his girlfriend the one for whom he could have sacrificed his life they loved each other so much that if angels were watching them from heaven they would have been left stunned she came and stood close to him he was lost in her eyes he didn't realize when she came and sat on his lap their breaths embraced and their lips were only inches away from each other then a strange sound fell on his ears and he closed his eyes Suddenly everything flashed in front of him and took him back to that day when he lost his love his friends job everything he remembered all the accusations she had made on him you are solely responsible for this mess you deserve nothing better you can try to be honest to yourself if nothing else if you can't then go away suddenly everybody was pointing fingers at him suddenly he had become answerable to everyone around him he saw nothing but a dead end ahead he opened his eyes wishing to see her in front of him but there was no one he searched for her in all directions wishing to be with her at that moment he wanted to relive all the memorable moments again with all his desires evaporated in thin air as he sat in his resigned state sometimes he would question himself whether he was really innocent or was he the culprit behind all the chaos that had occurred in the last few months he was about to light another cigarette when kritika came and stood next to him patting him on his back kritika was his 4 am friend who always supported him in the worst of his situations she was your typical girl next door with short hair and a cute smile She was full of positive energy and could make anyone feel happy even on the worst of days. According to her, the reason behind her charm and beauty was the amethyst crystal she carried in the locket around her neck. She believed it was a symbol of positive energy and could seduce anyone around her. Kritika was one of his best friends even though they had met only a few months back. Together they believed that Time cannot define your relationship. It's the bonding you share, even if you have met a day before. 
What are you doing here? She asked. I just want to be left alone. I want to be away from everyone. What will you achieve by doing that? We all know that you are innocent. Whatever happened was Faith's doing. You are not responsible for the accident. I am sure you will find some way or the other to prove your innocence. You just have to wait for the right time to come. Kritika consoled him. I really don't know how to do that. It seems as if sand is slipping through my hands and I am watching helplessly. Come on now, everyone is waiting for you at the hotel. It's my birthday! Kritika had booked them at the Ekant Hotel to celebrate her birthday on February 13th. As soon as he got up, a drop of tear rolled down his cheek. He remembered all that he had been accused of and that broke his spirit into pieces. He took out his mobile phone and sent a message to Alicia. It's hard to describe how I feel now. I want to explain everything to you, but I don't know how to. I feel so alone and I'm scared. All kinds of thoughts are running through my mind. Stress is eating me up every minute. If only you were by my side today, I would have never felt so alone. Our gang has gathered here to celebrate a birthday party and my eyes still search only for you. But alas, you are not here. Do you feel the same pain as I do? Kritika was watching him, waiting patiently for him to finish texting. She thought of making him understand that everything will be back in its place one day. However, she avoided looking at him as it would hurt him more. She looked the other way around, rubbing her hands, trying to keep herself warm in the cold wind. It was a starless night. The other couples around him seemed to enjoy the darkness of the night and the privacy it allowed them. It was not the same for Kritika and him, though. Kritika was extremely worried for her friend who was looking for a way to bring back normalcy to his life. But they knew that they were trying to climb an impossibly high peak. They were trying to forget the hurt of the past and the fears of the future, wishing his life gets back on the track soon and with it, the smile on his face. Thanks Kritika for being by my side during this tough phase, he said feigning in a smile. Oh, shut up! I know how much you love Alicia. Just the mention of her name was enough to bring a smile to his face. She meant a lot to him and he needed her to support him against all odds. She was the love of his life. He looked back to see whether he had really seen her a few minutes ago. But Alicia was nowhere around him.